In this video, I will show you how one of the tools, the CPU profiler, can be used to solve problems in my VxWorks application. Here is a diagram of my application. It spawns four tasks. It processes a set of data. Through a series of signals, interrupts, and semaphores, data is read in, collected, processed, and monitored. It issues a warning in certain cases. I expect most of the processing time to happen where I'm conducting heavy data processing right in the crunch and monitor tasks. The other tasks are supposed to be very quick and in and out tasks unless a warning is issued. Here is the Workbench development environment. My application is a downloadable kernel module called Cobble. I'm going to connect Workbench to the target and download my application. This is the terminal window for my target. I'm expecting some warnings to be printed out. I'm not getting anything. Let's see if my tasks are running. My tasks are running. I can see the four tasks that I'm using. Since I'm not getting any output, let's take a look at the CPU profiler to see what is happening. Here's my CPU profiler. The profiler shows an aggregation of the CPU utilization over a time period. Right now it's organized by, by task, and I'm expecting my crunch task and my monitor task to take up a lot of time. But right now, looking at my CPU profiler, it's the Cosmos task that's taking up all the time. I can drill down into my Cosmos task to see my Cosmos task is taking 42% of my CPU time. I can drill down to take a look at the call stack. It looks like it's the monitor occupy task, um, occupy function that takes up all the time. If I double click on the monitor occupy, there's a tight for loop in there that's taking up a lot of time. The function Cosmos is calling it in my call stack, so I'm going to double click on Cosmos and it brings up in my editor the line showing that it's taking up 42% of my CPU time on the call to monitor occupy. So there's my problem. I need to fix this. Let me stop the program first and go back and fix the line. I'm going to take this monitor occupy task an occupy call outside of the semaphore protection area and reduce the parameter going into it. Now I can rebuild my cobble application and restart it. Let's look at my terminal window. I'm still not getting any warnings. I'm getting one warning, but I'm expecting a lot more warnings than that. I'm not getting that, so let's take a look at my CPU profiler again. This time I'm going to expand and take a look at my history graph. My history graph is showing the CPU utilization over time, and I can see my timeline. And at the dip in my CPU utilization time, that's when I stopped the program and restarted it. I only want to take a look at the data that's on my second invocation of the application, so I'm going to drag over my range so that I'm only looking at the data and aggregating over the second invocation of the application. And now this time, if I take a look at my call tree analysis, I can see my Cosmos task is no longer taking up all the time. I'm still expecting Crunch to take up even more time, and it's not. There's a Schlep task that is taking up more time again. Let's open up the call tr tree there. It looks like the Schlep function is also taking up. It's taking up 20% of the CPU time. I'm expecting it to take almost no time. So let me double click on the Schlep task, and there's another call to monitor Occupy. I'm going to have to fix that as well, the same way. Let's go into my terminal window and stop my application. Go back to my source code. Move the monitor occupy outside of my semaphore protection area and reduce the parameter 
to monitor Occupy. Let me rebuild, redownload, restart the application. Okay, my history graph shows that my application is starting. Looking at my terminal window, I'm getting my warnings now. And I'm going to take a look at the range, my aggregation range, after the dip to, sh to occupy only my third invocation of this application. Now, when I look at my call tree analysis, I can see that the monitor task and the crunch tasks are taking up time, and the Cosmos task and the schlep tasks are no longer taking up all the time. They're using very little of the CPU time. This is how Wind River Workbench CPU Profiler helps me troubleshoot and fine-tune my applications. The CPU Profiler is one case of the system browser. Here, the system browser is using CPU utilization as its metrics. For more complex applications, I may need to use other system browser metrics to profile my application. If I need to see how my system is using I.O., I can collect metrics on I.O. reads and writes. If I suspect a problem with semaphore interaction, I can collect metrics on semaphore gives and takes. In all cases, I can use the system browser to drill down to specific lines of code to locate my problem. I invite you to explore the full power of the system browser to profile your application.